shovel you need? I'm gonna take you. Thank you very much. How many people are you guys expecting? Uh, well, last year we had 43,000. We'll break 40,000 again this year for sure. We've got a ton of new craft breweries, and in the next six months, we're probably going to see another 20, 30 open up in Alberta. It's a pretty incredible number. So, We were curious about all these craft breweries. Are they going to make it? You know what? I think they are. I think if you look at the percentage of people right now who drink from the macros, they're at the 95%, right? So craft beer only has 5% of the market share. Plus the craft distilleries, if you're into that, they're exploding as well. We have 20, whereas three years ago we had two or three, and there's 20 more applications on AGLC's desk right now. Well, what's your vision? What's the, what's the reason? Why do you do this? People are really into finding out where their food comes from right now, right? And I think you're seeing the same thing with the craft distilleries and the craft breweries. They want to know who's making their beer, who's making their spirits. Who's, it connects them, right? And I think that's, we've gone global so much that now people are kind of like, well, what's next door? What's down the road? What's down the other side of the province? And talking about beer tourism too, like in terms of what we're bringing to the province, it definitely didn't exist in Alberta. And now you're seeing that happen over and over. We're going to make a beer run. That's awesome. Good. Thanks we'll for being here, guys. guys later. Cheers. Cheers, man. What the heck is that? It's our jockey box. Look at this guy. How many have you done of those? What's that? So how many times have you done that? A couple hundred thousand, probably. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah over, over the course of 27 years, yeah, I'd say so. You can make your own malt, but you also have to work with the farmers. Yeah. So yeah. where do you guys get your grains from? Uh, right now, the majority of it's coming right off Dad's farm, and we're also buying some from some of the local area farmers, so working with our neighbors. Dad's farm. <laughs> Is, is that a guy or is it real dad? <laughs> real dad. Real dad. Real dad. Yeah. 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 Tell me more. I'll bet the beer goes. Yeah. It, it, it sounds naughty. Does it sound naughty? It's not meant to sound naughty. We are an event based organization in Alberta focusing on education. Education? Yeah, education and craft beer with a few pints while we do it. So here's the challenge. Okay. Okay. Putting it on camera. Oh, God. <laughs> you make your best lager? Okay. We'll make our best lager. Okay. We'll put it head to head, blind tasting. And I know it takes six weeks to make a good lager. Yeah. Not ours though. But you tell me when you're ready. Just beer, what's it about? It's an app for beer to learn about what you like, what you don't like. Locally designed, locally built. Yeah. Nothing done in India? Nothing at all. No. We, we do have a couple Indians, but they're <laughs> all here in Calgary. <laughs> He's not politically correct, this guy. Yeah. Is it? We're really excited to be here this weekend and that the distillery district has been included. The feedback so far must be stellar because we know your product, we tasted your product. Crushing Cork brought in our peppercorn gin yesterday, first day I had it on, sold two bottles right away. So, gone, yeah. This is our still over here and uh, this is our first product and we literally just served our first customer about 20 minutes ago. Are you allowed to have any? No, I can't. No, no. it's not a trick question, it's sad. It is sad. AGLC, it is so sad. But we still like you, AGLC. Yeah, I know, suck up to them. It's not, I don't have to. I'm a consumer. You just so, go for it. it Come on, you if can they do don't, it. You're not a lightweight. No, I, I actually bumped some in my eye. Silica, minerals, very high number. Other matter in make your bones and stronger. Wildlife gin, make it even better. Come on by, have a cucumber. Did it work? That's awesome. Good on you. <laughs> We're gonna make her famous. I promise you, we're gonna make her famous. You guys still using horses? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. How's the horse? Who? Like, whose horse? Yeah, how's the horses? Oh, how are they? Yeah. Good. This is our version of Bailey's. Uh, we call it Double Double. We want to get sued by Tim Hortons to get some free publicity out of it. We make about 10 flavored vodkas. Our number one selling flavored vodka, believe it or not, is garlic flavored vodka. Are you running sh short at the moment? No. No? No, we're good. Because it's really tiny. That's a half ounce. <laughs> We're only allowed to pour half ounce at these. If you go to church, you get the same cup. That's good. <laughs> right? So, what a tough here. They put bacon jam on this. Find, like, this Why don't you want this? I love this, but I want No, but you to... keep on telling me you don't like these. Yes. George, here we go. Tell me that's not good. 
That was phenomenal. So of all the shite you had me eat so far, <laughs> this is the best. Everything with bacon tastes better. Do you have to have a beard to be considered a, a beer aficionado? Uh, I'm, no, I'm a beard aficionado, not a beer aficionado. There you go. Yeah. Good. You one got the right answer. When you hit puberty, you'll get all one too. Much. That's what I was thinking. Exactly. Awesome. Good. Anyway, get this camera off me. My wife thinks I'm at the dentist. This one's a little hop here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? It's a man's beer? I think so. That's what they tell you when you put too much hops in. <laughs> what are you judging? I haven't tried it yet. You, you interrupted. How rude. All right, let's get a connoisseur's view here. You know, it looks good. I was just saying, I was remarking to me, this looks nice. Yeah. Got some, it's a nice looking beer. Thing yeah. of beauty. You get the text message to look this good. I mean, look at this. You, you look fantastic, man. We got man. collar. Oh, we got collar. No, no. Hey, we got collar. We don't have a hat. Hey, though. look at that. My job's to make fun of you, not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worn out yet? I'm done. You can definitely see when the big marketing's kicked in. When it's not a community brewery or a community distillery any longer. Sure. Because the guys that makes this stuff is no longer here. I miss them. I was looking for them. They've got all kinds of marketing going on, but the soul is gone. The makers left the building. The makers left the building. And it's not here tonight. Do you see the Camel Brewing guys? Yeah. It's amazing. That orange stands out and they were just having an awful lot of fun. This is Raw Distilleries Peppercorn Gin. It's our own distillery right there in Canmore. And the best part of it all is both of the people that make it is right here. To Canmore. Cheers, buddy. To Canmore. To the traveling cowboys on the road. You should have been here. Wow. Out of 10. 10 out of 10. No, man. Come on. Give him some credit. <laughs> 12. <laughs> this is just a prop. I have to return it. AGLC is going to be on our case again. Look at that. <laughs>